Yeah. Now, Shannon, you're doing some important things now as well because oh, you're teaching. Yes. And now you're now you're school. taking all the professional um, skills and traits and attributes and that you had. And trying to implement them, them yes. in my high school yes, program. Yes, yes. So try, try, <laughs> trying to. I've got one of the number one high school programs in the state of California. And I do. Oh, wow. They're pretty the amazing. Um, uh, Clovis West High School is where yeah. I teach. And the fun thing is, is that's actually where I graduated from as well. Very cool. And um, we actually, I want to say, we were known because of our choreographer, John Peters, who started, oh gosh, probably 25 years, no, more than that, 25 to 30 years ago, started choreographing He's for Clovis West. He's the number one West. choreographer in the NFL. And NFL and NBA, I mean, that's right. just NFL. But. Global cheerleaders, that was all John Peters. Well, and yeah. to this day, John still comes and choreographs for yeah, Clovis West right. High School. He still is choreographing for all these teams. He actually was also the first mascot for the San Francisco 49ers. He was Huddles. Um, so he's been well. my dear friend for so 30 years. It's yeah. pretty neat, but I think that he really got our program as a high school. He put us on the map, quite honestly, with just his his choreography is amazing and just the transitions that he does and everything put us on on the map and then now that I've taken over again and I'm an alumni of that I get to give back and right. still still hire him back to do choreography and work with us and it's been pretty special it really wow. has I'm lucky these girls these high school girls I know right you got a and professional, Angela's our, you know, professional 49ers and Angela's cheerleader doing our costumes this year so it's like keeping it all in the family <laughs> 30 years later we're still using the so same wait a second thing. they got a professional uh, 49ers cheerleader coaching them then they Get a professional designer, oh, right. designer, designer and then a designer, choreographer. Yeah, a, um, yeah, set. Think, yeah. yeah there's set. something to be said in the cheerleading industry for legacy. Huh. And the programs that are missing out are the programs that are not keeping in touch with the legacy of the industry. There's a level of respect. Being here tonight with Suzanne Mitchell, there's a huge level of respect for her. That's what is important for all of us. That's why all of us are actually here tonight, is because we believe in this. We believe in this industry, we believe in the people, and we believe in giving back to it to make it a better play. A better thing to be a part of, the sisterhood that it is, is one thing. But then actually giving it back to the girls who are experiencing it now, that's way more important because we're building for years to come. I'm so hoping that we are. Yeah. That's great. And helping them fall in love with it the way we did. Which is, yeah. great point, especially okay. me. So now you said Pro Bowl was your number one in NFL experience. Oh, yes. It was yeah. pretty amazing. Just the opportunity to get together with one girl, one representative from each team. And, you know, they now have, they're out of, 30, out of 32 teams, 26 have cheerleaders. I actually don't remember what the number was back when I was in it because it was 1999, 15 years ago. And I know that we didn't have 23 girls or 20 six girls at that time, but um, just the opportunity to go there for a week and be your one representative that gets to go out and be that spokesperson for your team and that ambassador, if you will, and stepping out into the crowd and knowing that everybody that loved 49ers, you know, they were they were rooting for me that day. And just the opportunity, like coming here tonight, getting to see a Pro Bowl sister I haven't seen in 15 years Very is pretty cool. special. And just everything that we got to do and once again just giving back. All of the community involvement we did while we were there for a week. Um, we had the Make-A-Wish Foundation was part of ours that year and a little girl who was terminally ill, her dream was to be a cheerleader and so they actually brought her into the Pro Bowl. So having the opportunity to spend, you know, that three and a half hours with her on the sideline, knowing that we were helping fulfill her dream in some way was, was pretty amazing. I bet. It was. Okay, Angela, one, one memory, NFL from you. Well, I was there a long time. I was there before Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 I was there ring. before Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. um, but I will tell you, if I had to pick one, I would tell you I was 18 years old, and it was the Super Bowl at Stanford Stadium, and we were playing, the 49ers were playing the Miami Dolphins. And I'll never forget. And it, a lot of it had to do with the being home stadium, right? It was a lot of 49er fans there. But when our team ran out to do our performance at halftime, the crowd erupted, and I've never heard anything as loud ever. Yeah. And that just filled me with so much pride for the team I was with in San Francisco. That was huge. And one other really special thing that we got to do under Angela's direction, and I believe it was the first one we did, was a USO tour. We oh, toured right. throughout. I got to go on the team or the group that went to Bosnia, Croatia, and Hungary. Oh, wow. So getting to go over there for the 4th of July for Independence Day and spend it with our troops. And the troops had just been there only six months. They had just gone in wow. to Bosnia. So we were dealing with tents on the ground. We were helicoptering in from Hungary every day. Oh, wow. In helmets, every helmet, and we were in our, yes. It was an amazing It was yeah. pretty That's special. Experience. Yeah, it was. And yeah, it was the best part of that was Angela met her husband there. Oh, <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go.
That's yes. awesome. So I was there the day they met. <laughs> she was there the day they met. go way back. Yes, That's awesome. we do. We do, definitely. Ladies, you two are absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for your time. We Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much.